Morning guys it's john welcome back to kc farms today is the day we are moving our three pens of chickens their areas have been moved i mean have been pooped all over we move the houses every day just a new spot in here most of the poop is at night and it is time to get them a clean spot so we're just going to be moving all three pens down the yard getting a little bit of fertilization for the spring so we've got all the other chores done these guys have not been let out yet so it is time to get them moved so we can get them out they are scratching at the doors to get out so let me put this down and we'll start moving fences start moving pens we'll get them all out All right, first one's already done. Not bad at all, right? Five, seven minutes to get the whole thing moved. About 45 seconds for you guys, so that's not too bad. People always ask why we keep moving them. Well, to keep them off their manure, keep them on fresh ground, also to fertilize our lawn. So one down, these two are patiently waiting. They're in their, in their pens a little bit longer than normal this morning on a move day, so. We're gonna get this next one moved, third one moved, and we'll have these guys done. So all it is is another 30, 45 seconds for you guys. We'll be done in no time. Everybody is moved, fed, and watered. Just wanted to show you really quick what I meant when they just mostly poop at night. Here's the last spot the Novagens were. You can see they sit on those roosting bars and lines of manure there. So that's the biggest reason why we want to get them moved, just get them off their manure. And we want them to work for us. You know, we want them to fertilize our lawn. We're putting feed into them, taking care of them. And it's not like they mind pooping, so that's how we're putting them to work. So let's get these guys out there ready. We've got the nest boxes turned around. So they have some eggs laying time. These are the whiting true blues. And some people have asked, you've got them so close together, do the roosters go at it? No, they haven't. Whiting true blues fly out. They're a little more flighty than the other birds. But other than that, we haven't had any issues with them going into other pens and getting after the other birds. So let's move on to our next one. I almost got these fences close enough. I can step over both of them. These are the Novagens. Egg laying machines here. And of course our Bielefelder rooster. He's awesome. Still haven't got attacked by a Bielefelder. Let's walk over here so they know. They're kind of friendly. They want to be where you're at. They think I have food, obviously, but there's the food right there. We've been throwing the feed out on the ground lately. We do have feeders in most of the pens, but while the weather's still nice, we've just been throwing it out on the ground. So, Novagens doing awesome. Laying tons of eggs still. The Whiting True Blues have picked up. We're getting about eight to 10 eggs a day from the Whiting True Blues. And then uh, these guys here, Welsomers and a couple Whitings. Uh-oh, this door got pushed. I got, this door gets jammed up in here on the corners and it's hard to get open. So I gotta fix that, but obviously I haven't got to that yet. So I'm gonna need to put this down, try and pry this door open for them give me something else to do today there we go all 
right, there's the Welsomers, and there's the two Whiting True Blues in there. There's one there coming out. So, chickens are moved. I know they're excited to be out of their coops finally. They have to uh, stay in a little bit longer on days where we move them, but they'll be in here possibly up to two weeks. We move their houses up and down throughout the pens and uh, keep them on fresh ground and keep spreading that manure. So I know they're happy, we're happy, and uh, happy chicken is a good egg. So we do have one more thing to do with chickens. You thought we were done, but we're not. We've got one more batch in the garage and we are ready to get the brooders out of the garage. So let's go in and check them out and see what we're doing with them. All right, our last group of chickens for the year. Thank goodness it's still kind of warm in December, but you remember we've got some more of the Novagen Browns. Hard to see them with this, but I don't want them to fly out. But they are all feathered out, ready to go. It's gonna be 64 today anyway. So if they weren't feathered out, I'd still take them out. We've had this holding the uh, heat in for them. I've turned off the heat lamps so they can kind of get used to it being a little colder at night, but you can see they're fully feathered out and they are ready to go. And more importantly, we are ready for them to go. We want our garage back. We took the uh, brooders down a while ago thinking we were done with birds and then you remember we ordered the ducks and we ordered the egg layers so we can have eggs in the spring well we got rid of the two sets of birds so we have extra um chickshaws so that is what they're going in so good morning colby good morning how are you so colby has gotten his first couple mice and so that is a good thing that was the reason we got them. Oh, I'm sure you probably saw that. We did butcher some ducks the other day. A bunch of down still left over. We got all those males butchered, but we've got this extra chick shaw. We just got to do one repair to it until we can get it out there for the Novagens. Last year, the door came off. You can see the bottom kind of rotted out here. So I tried to move the hinges up, but the hinges have to be at the bottom. So I'm gonna take a saw and I'm gonna cut across. So we're level all the way across. We're gonna get this door rehung and we'll have a coop ready for them to go outside, hopefully without a cat in it. got the door put on we had to adjust these holders a little bit just because we moved the whole door up a little and there's a little tight squeeze over here but just give it a little hip adjustment and you're good so this door is ready I put the fence up we're only gonna put one fence around them since they're so small right now so let's get this pulled over to their area and let's get those chicks outside. All right, we've got our animal transporting tote. We've toted pigs, chickens, ducks, turkeys, everything in this, except cats. What are you doing, Flo? So anyway, we are going to get these guys out i put a water pan out there instead of one of these waters it's just so much easier to feed we've got their feeder hanging i'll show you that once we get out there but let's load up these chickens and uh we're gonna get them outside for the first time Chickens, let's get them outside. All right, 
right, guys. This is kind of the chicken's normal reaction the first time you get them out of that dark old brooder out into some beautiful sunshine. Like I say, first week of December, it's 64 degrees. You couldn't ask for a better day. And uh, so these guys are going to be a little bit not scared like the other ones. That's one thing I like. I never thought I'd just like a commercial layer Novagen plain old brown chicken. But these chickens are nice. They're not skittish. And uh, they kind of seek you out. So normally, guys, I would have probably put them in the coop and locked the coop for the day just so they know where home is. Uh, we may have an issue getting them up tonight, but I've got two good helpers, Brooklyn and Isaiah, obviously. And uh, so they'll be able to help me get them up here. Um, we've got the water pan right there. And I've hung their feeder up here inside. And I don't think it'll be too long before they explore and find that. Um, but just glad to have them outside. Our last batch of chickens for the year, 28 layers. We have no males in here. I'm gonna put a whiting true blue male in with them. Uh, the male just kind of helps keep the flock in order, keep them in line. And so we're, we've got three of those and we're gonna put one in with these guys. So I do like that they're not very skittish. I can be right here and they are not freaking out. Um, they're gonna explore today. Gotta love being out of that pen. Looks like they're already looking for that water to see what it is. So anyway, guys, all the chickens are moved. We're gonna be running up and down the yard this winter, letting them fertilize. And it doesn't take too long to do it. And it's nice to always have them off their manure. So really excited to see when these guys start laying. It's about 16, 17 weeks. We should get start getting some eggs from these girls, I should say, not guys. So anyway, we do appreciate everyone following along. You can help us out by hitting that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you see on the channel. And we will check you out on the next video.